Hello everyone, welcome back to another retro video game pickup video. Uh, this time I went to a place in New York City called 8-Bit and Up. And it's uh, in the Lower East Village, I think, or something along those lines. It's on, uh, you know, it's in Manhattan. Um, so the deal is it's called 8-Bit and Up, and I was able to get a pretty good deal on one of the games. And, you know, some of the other games were here and there, price-wise. So let's get right into it. Um, the first one I'm going to show you, I was able to talk the guy five, down $5 because of the condition of the box. Um, and I think I have a thing where I can uh, put it right in one of these protective sleeves. Still think I have a protective sleeve available here. Yes, I do. Let's get one of these out. And we're good to go. Okay, the first game is for the N64, and it is called Mike Piazza Strike Zone, one of the worst baseball games of all time. Uh, both graphically, it's just a gross, gross game. Um, they charged me $19.99 for it. I was able to get $5 off. Here's the condition of the box. As you can see, it's ripped over here, it's ripped over here. You know, it's it's... It's not great. The back is okay, but let's look in. It says, dig in. You got fast-paced arcade or authentic hardball action. Uh, real player transactions, trades, drafts, and free agents. The latest, in se latest season stats and ratings in 50 categories. Over 700 real players, all the stadiums, all the teams, and uniforms, all in 3D. Unique player editor allows you to create the ultimate athlete. All new 1998 rosters, including two new expansion teams, the Arizona Diamondbacks and Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Tons of hidden secrets, including super fast pitches, outrageous curveballs, incredible home runs, and more. Fantasy teams create your own rotisserie league and ultra-realistic condition effects. Gameplay, I imagine. I'm going to try to rip these stickers off to see the rest. But this is um, Mike Piazza Strike Zone, so let's put it right. Well, if I can rip off the stickers here, then I'll put it right into the protective casing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because I don't have nails. I don't know if there's a way to do it without ruining the box either. Well, we might be able to get it. Oh, how awesome would this be if I can gently rip these stickers off? Yep. Here it comes off. Yes, sir. Alright, there's one of the stickers. And... What are the odds I can get this off? See, i got to be real careful not to damage the box. This this is very almost impossible to, to get off here, but I may get lucky. I may get lucky. Here's the deal. It's extremely, extremely tough to get this last sticker off. I have a corner of it with a quarter I was able to get off, but anyway, there it is. This is the best I could do. You can see the corner. I'm trying to rip that off, but it's just so stuck on I think I'm screwed. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to put it right in its box for now protective sleeve. GT Interactive Software made the game, or published the game I should say. They usually do a good job when it comes to publishing decent games. This one however was one of the worst games you could ever play in your life. Uh, I remember when it first came out, graphically it was a joke. You already knew if it was going to be a uh, a ball or a strike because what ha would happen is they put in what is wrong with this box? It would put in blue and white. Oh, I see what's going on here. Oh boy, is this box in bad shape. They, oh, just got ripped. The whole thing just got ripped. Awesome. Piece of crap. For, oh, for $15, you can't, you know, you can't go wrong. It is what it is. It's in bad shape, but it's, I got it, so. 
Um, yeah, they for for a ball that was red, as you can see here, I'll show you where the box just ripped. Right there. Trying to get this fucking piece of shit in. Let me see if I can take this out a little bit. And see if I can fix it somehow. Uh... No, it's... Well, yeah, I did. I think I got it. Somewhat. I think I got it somewhat. Let's just see here. No, now this is... Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. This is... This is a joke. This is a freaking joke. What is the deal? There we go. Let's see if it, if it worked at all. Yep, as you can see now. Well, horrible. If I can find a better version, I'll, I'll grab it. Anyway, so that's the first game there. Second game now will go to the PS2. It's Taito Legends 2. Uh, this is pretty rare to find. The bottom of the box here is cracked. I wasn't happy about that. As you can see, it cost me about 30 bucks. Um, see if I can get this sticker off of here. And that's used $30. Uh, the guy also there had a Virtual Boy for sale in its box without the paperwork, like instructions and all that, but he had everything else. And uh, he wanted $250 for it, and he's out of his mind because you can find it on eBay for about 130 So anyway, Taito Legends, over 35 games. Space Invaders DX, Quicks, Elevator Action Returns, Puzzle Bobble 2, The Legend of Cage, and many more arcade classics. Taito Legends 2 offers arcade-perfect versions of 39 historic titles from one of the most recognizable developers of the golden age of video arcades. You got Darius Gaiden, Puzzle Bobble 2, Space Invaders DX, Dungeon Magic, Liquid Kids, and Cleopatra Fortune. Alpine Sky, um, Darius Gaiden, Curry Kinton, Arabian Magic, Bond's Adventure, Liquid Kids, Camel Tree, Lunar Rescue, Chack and Pop, Elevator Action Returns, Super Space Invaders 91, Cleopatra Fortune, The Legend of Cage, Metalback, Crazy Balloon, Poochie Karat, Don Doko Don, Quix, Dungeon Magic, Rimas, Nastar, or Rastan 2, Puzzle Bobble 2, The Fairyland Story, Space Invaders 95, Football Champ, Frontline, Violence Fight, Gekarindian, Growl, Kiki Hakai Kai, Gun and Frontier, and Space Invaders DX. So, there you go, Taito Legends 2 for the PS2. Next up we have NFL Blitz 2003 for the PS2. See if I can get this sticker off of here like the others. Without ruining the box, which I don't think I'm doing a very good job of. If only I had nails, man. So if there's ever a time not to bite your nails, this would be it. Now this, this fucker ain't coming off. I'll have to do that after. I'll have to figure out a way to do it. But anyway... Um, What's football without the Blitz? Sack up and get ready for NFL Blitz 2003, a gridiron firestorm of hard hits, outrageous moves, flying tackles, and things usually left to the imagination. Ignite your game, okay? Uh, features, exclusive 8-on-8 eight -eight adrenaline-style gameplay means more gridiron for bigger players, bigger plays, and bigger hits. New, create a player, name, number, height, weight, pads, and abilities. Your alter ego never had it so good. New, play design and on-field audio by NFL Pro Bowl players Michael Strahan, Byron Chamberlain, Amon Green, John Lynch, Yamir Miller, Jameer Miller, Rod Smith, and Troy Vincent. New, fantasy stadiums and amazing locales and incredible fantasy players. New, updated rosters, uniform stadiums, including the Houston Texans. New, explosive licensed music from music industry superstars Quarshay. And new DVD special features, see Midway Sports Blitz the Pro Bowl video. So there you go, NFL Blitz 2003 with Strahan on the cover. Next up for the PS2, Midway Arcade uh, Treasures 3 includes eight retro racing classics featuring Hydro Thunder, San Francisco Rush 2049. Okay, 
So fuel your racing fever. Redline the ultimate collection of arcade racers as you put the pedal to the metal in these eight high octane coin op classics. San Francisco Rush, the Rock Alcatraz edition. Insane jumps, crashes, and stunts on the streets of San Francisco. You got Hydro Thunder. Rip the waves on a turbo jet boat across treacherous aqua courses. Super off road. High speed truck racing and arena style off road courses. Badlands. Post nuclear battle racing between armored sprint cars. Race driving. Stunt autocross and super stunt racing all in one game. Stun Runner. The futuristic fusion of bobsleds and roller coasters in a shoot 'em up. San Francisco Rush 2049. Racing stunts and battles in the original arcade racer and off road thunder. All terrain vehicle racing the way it should be, down and dirty. So, this is uh, pretty easy. Midway Arcade Treasures 3 for the PS2. Next up, and that cost me $19.99. He actually charged me $0.50 cents more, $19.99, not $19.49. But again, I got $5 off of the Strike Zone game, and I'll show you the game I got for free because I couldn't find it later on. I'll leave that for last. Next up, Triple, a, triple Play Baseball with Giambi. I also have this for the PS1 in the last video you saw it. Uh, step, up, uh, step out of the stands and up to the plate. You got all the depth and realism you expect. Total pitching control, more powerful than a Giambi homer. Big league plays, big league action. Bring out the heavier art artillery. Um, and the baseball diamond comes to life. New pitcher batter interface, improved fielding, enhanced AI, expert input from Dusty Baker, San Francisco Giants manager and the 2000 National League Manager of the Year, exclusive big league challenge license, and heavy hitting soundtrack. Chuck D, Vitamin C, Utah Saints, Fastball, and more set the fest pace tone for triple play baseball. So I'll grab this for uh, four, uh, $7.99 for the PS2. Okay. Next up for the PS2, we also have NCAA Football 2005. Got this for a dollar. Home field advantage, fear it or feast on it, the number one selling NCAA football franchise. You got fight the noise, new create a sign feature, new agile, agile running system, and double the coach. Now douse the coach, it says. So features, you got new stadium pulse, pump up the crowd and keep your composure. The stadium now rocks with energy via shaking cameras and controller vibrations. New matchup stick. Ratings change based on the player's ability to handle pressure. Track the crowd's impact on each player and exploit the mismatches. Top 25 toughest places to play. Deeper dynasty mode and battle your rivals online. So this is NCAA Football 2005 PS2. Next up for the PS1, uh, for $14.99, I was able to get Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. Six great arcade hits in one package. And um, here it's what it says. The hits that once made you a regular in local arcades are now coming home. Relive the old days chasing down the dirty scum and bubbles. Enjoy Defender once again as you navigate your vessel through alien territory. Defender 2 includes added villains and features not found in the original Defender. Challenge gladiators in a fight to the death and joust. Once again, Robotron 2004 lets you clash with the mutant force of robots to save the only remaining human family. With the coolest graphics of its time, Sinistar returns with great outer space battle action. Bring back some great memories and master your favorite arcade classics once again. So this is $14.99 for this. Then for the PS2, I was able to get NBA Live 07 with McGrady on the cover when he was with the Rockets featuring ESPN. Elevate Your Game, the number one selling basketball franchise, paid $4.99 for it. Here you got hundreds of freestyle moves. Here you got take over any game. So the features, all new EA Sports Total Freestyle Control. Take, comp, take complete control of EA Sports Freestyle Superstars, including shooters, scorers, stoppers, and more by changing skill attributes on the fly. You got unprecedented ESPN integration. The deepest NBA Dynasty mode, NBA All-Star Weekend, analysts Greg Anthony and Ernie Johnson highlight every spectacular play during the slam dunk contest and three-point shootout. The weekend ends with the Rookie Challenge and All-Star Game. And you got Voices of the NBA. Former Chicago Bulls star Steve Kerr joins legendary Marv Albert courtside to call the action from the best seats in the house. So NBA Live 07 for the PS2 featuring ESPN. Next for the PS2, I was able to grab NBA Ballers with Stephon Marbury on the cover. It features him. I uh, picked this up for $4.99. Live the fantasy lifestyle of an NBA superstar. If you want the fantasy lifestyle of an NBA superstar, NBA Ballers is your ticket to the top. Bask in all the bling success can bring. Cribs, chromed out cars, jets, and more. But to have it all, you'll have to flaunt your skills online, optional headset chat feature, or go one-on-one -on -one with over 60 current NBA superstars and 24 NBA legends who will be driving the lane and bombing Rainbow Jays to determine who's the greatest baller of all time. 
So NBA Ballers featuring Stephon Marbury for the PS2. Next up, PS2, we have NBA Live 2003 with Jason Kidd on the cover. And you got EA Sports Tracks, bonus music CD inside, exclusive tracks from Buster Rhymes, Fabulous, Just Play, Snoop Dogg, and more. Picked this up for, I think, $4.99 as well. On the in-game graphics, it says, Be the ultimate playmaker, own the boards, authentic classic uniforms, take the court in style. The number one selling pro basketball franchise that features revolutionary EA Sports freestyle control, quick plays for quick scores and stops, dominate with one button control, tag or take your game online, and new EA Sports tracks. So this is live 2003 for the PS2. Next up for the PS2, we got this for $199. It's Sega Sports NBA 2K3 with Iverson on the cover. It says, the dominant player takes charge. ESPN broadcast presentation, player introductions, weekly wrap-ups, season end awards, and more, all presented in authentic, award-winning ESPN style. Precision offense, drive the court with fluid dribble moves, then dish off with a touch pass and take it to the hoop. New moves such as mid-air shot adjustments and pivot moves to gain a step on the defense give you total control. Hard-nosed defense. Block shots, dive for loose balls, and play a physical brand of D with tight hand up ball contact and our accurate collision impact. Updated visual effects, including players glistening with sweat, bring it all to life. And you got online play. Plug into the action. Link your PlayStation 2 computer entertainment system to the net and go head-to-head -head against gamers nationwide. You can also download timely roster transactions and more. So Sega Sports, NBA 2K3, featuring ESPN, or powered by ESPN, it says, uh, for the PlayStation 2. Next up for the PlayStation 2, we got NFL Blitz 2002. Um, Pick this up for $9.99. It says, Woodson bringing the noise, Lynch and Dane doing battle. It takes a gang to stop the bus. The freak ready to pounce. Bruce takes it to the house and Randall with the bull rush. So reinvented, real teams, real players, real attitude. Reinvented for the next generation consoles. The all-new NFL Blitz 2002 is over the top. No refs, no rules, no mercy, football mayhem. You got realistic player models and stadiums. Lightning quick 8-on-8 eight -eight blitz format. Revolutionary impact player system. More than 1,500 new animations and music tracks from Methods of Mayhem. Charles Woodson, the Oakland Raiders perennial all-pro defensive back, says get ready to get blitzed midway style. And I thought that was Charles Woodson on the front, but I wasn't sure. So there you go. The next game I got for the PS1. I was looking for this for a little while. It's Jimmy Johnson's VR Football 98. Um, you can help support the United Way. VR Sports will donate a dollar for every VR Football 98 purchased. Uh, VR Sports, the difference is real. So let's pick this up for $3.99. Roy Basavi from the Miami Herald Knight Ritter Newspapers says, Look out Madden and NFL Game Day and, and the others. Nothing will be the same after J.J. invades the video game world, meaning Jimmy Johnson. Nobody can dispute that Jimmy Johnson is the coach of the 90s. Now Jimmy brings all his experience and passion for the game to give you the most authentic and exciting NFL gaming experience ever created. Choose your plays with one click as you execute the most realistic running and passing game to hit the PlayStation game console. Best of all, use the coach's clipboard to create and store your own set of winning plays and use them against other gridiron warriors in head-to-head -head competition. Jimmy Johnson's VR Football 98. It's what NFL football is all about. You got Ask Jimmy, motivation, game tips, personnel assessment, and post-game analysis from Jimmy Johnson. Coach's clipboard, create your own plays and save them on a memory card. One-step play calling, choosing your plays as simple as pressing a button. 3D passing interface, an innovative 3D passing interface provides precise control of passes and kicks. 1997 rosters, fully licensed with all 30 NFL teams with authentic playbooks and formations for each team, plus new uniforms for Tampa Bay and Denver. And plus, customized players and teams, general manager mode, and adjustable real-time camera movement before the snap. So Jimmy Johnson's VR Football 98 for the PS1 got this for $3.99. The last game I got for free, couldn't find it, was only a dollar, but he couldn't find it. It's for the Saturn. Uh, it's Bases Loaded 96 Doubleheader from Jalico. So on the back here, the newest edition of the Bases Loaded Signature Series. Slam your way through 162 games of hard-hitting baseball action. 
go head-to-head -head in an exhibition match or run for the championship, all in beautiful rendered Major League Bell ballparks. With, with the statistical tracking of 700 MLBPA licensed stars, analyze your player performances throughout the entire season or during a single game. All the spectacle and glory of the perfect season is in your hands. You have exhibition variable season and championship modes, complete statistical tracking, trade deadline updated 1995 team rosters, statistics and ratings provided by Stats Incorporated, huge photos of MLBPA licensed players, seven stadiums plus one bonus ballpark. So obviously they didn't have the um, the ability to have all the stadiums in this game. They didn't get the license for that. I highly doubt they also got the license for the actual MLB teams for this game because it only has a Major League Baseball Players Association license, and that's it. Uh, this kind of game kind of reminds me of the Sports Talk Baseball series on the Genesis as far as not the gameplay, but as far as the fact that it doesn't have real stadiums or real teams. But it does have the license for the players. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Video Game Pickup Retro Pickups. I believe Video 21. Could be wrong. Um, so stay tuned for more pickup videos. I have another stop to make in Albany or Colony, New York, I should say. But I'll also go around to Albany as well later today. And uh, remember to stay tuned on Wednesday for Fantasy Football Week 3 with McLovin. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.